Another thing you're going to have to do is evaluate expressions. So evaluate can mean a couple of things, but in this case we mean plug in the given numbers to your expression to get a number as an answer. So here's my expression, 3x squared minus 2y, and then I have to be told what to plug in. So x equals negative 4 and y equals 3. So every place I have an x, I'm going to plug in negative 4, and every place I have a y, I'm going to plug in a positive 3. When I plug in typically anything but especially negative numbers, I always put them in in parentheses just to be safe. So I have 3, and it's times x squared, so times I'm going to write with parentheses, so 3 right next to the parentheses, for the negative 4 and then the squared is attached to the x, currently being played by negative 4, and then minus 2 times y, and again, it's time, so if you want, you can just use those parentheses to indicate the multiplication again. Now we have to remember our PEMDAS. I have negative 4, it's in parentheses, because it's that whole x that's being squared, so negative 4 times negative 4, the two negative signs make a positive 16, so now I have 3 times positive 16 minus 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 16 is 48. 48 minus 6 is 42. Now I could evaluate the same expression for different letters and or different numbers and we'd get a different answer, probably. So let's evaluate that same expression, this time for x equals 2 and y equals negative 8. Let's see what we get. So this time for the x, I'm going to plug in positive 2. And for the y, I'm going to plug in negative 8. So order of operations, I'm going to square the 2 first. 3 times 4, notice this time I wrote the multiplication as the little dot. And now I have negative 2 times negative 8, so that's going to be a plus 16 that gets added on. I kind of feel I need to say something here. So typically what I would, what I'm really thinking is positive 2 times negative 8, it's times in between because it was 2 times y, so it's 2 times negative 8. That gives me a negative 16 in here, but then I was subtracting that, so I'm subtracting a negative 16. There's another way to figure out where that plus 16 comes from. So now PEMDAS uh, multiplication, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 16 gives me a final result of 28.